Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Ohio Guys here. I'm Christian Ocampo here in Hollywood, California. And today I'm joined by Josh Phillips. How are you doing, Josh? Hello, I'm very good. How are you doing, Christian? I'm doing good, man. Well, thanks, good. Thanks for coming here with me. It's my pleasure. So I got a few questions, man, for our little interview. Fire away. First of all, what's it like working in the industry? Oh, uh, it's a lot of fun. You know, voiceover work is uh, it's good work when you can get it. Um, I've had the great fortune of working with some really talented people, um, like like Talison Jaffe and, and Crispin Freeman um, and uh, Jonathan Klein, the producer uh, at New Generation Films. And uh, you know, it's a uh, it it it. Uh, it pays pretty well and um, it's usually a lot of fun and um, you know I like to do it as much as possible yeah. Yeah. All right. so is there any favorite show you've worked on well I've certainly had the most fun with the Helsing um, the Jan Valentine character uh, you know with Talison directed that, directed the dubs for that, and uh, me and Talison had had a relationship and known each other for a while, so we had a good working relationship. And because the character was so outrageous, um, it was a lot of fun for us. We, we laughed a lot while doing it, and uh, I think we were scaring uh, the original producers, the original Japanese producers uh, of the show a little bit with our, with our version of the English dub. But it uh, was so well received that um, by the time we did the uh, the reboot for for Helsing Ultimate, you know we did the uh, we did the, the the TV one first, um, and then we did Helsing Ultimate, which is the DVD uh, box set. For, um, and uh, by the time we did the second one, um, you know the, the first time the character was so well received that uh, that we knew that we could really push the limitations. So we had even more fun the second time, really getting crazy with with the Yon character. And it was a really good time. You know, we had a lot of laughing. It didn't feel like work. That's for sure. Yeah, a lot of people love your character. Though. They do. They do. I, I get people, uh, you know, contacting me every couple times a year. You know, or or, or saying things on YouTube um, with with the. Uh, he's a very iconic character, um, and, and people, uh, you know, like to come up to me and say, uh, you know, bring in the motherfucking death by Konami, <laughs> stuff like that, you know, some some really classic lines that that Talison wrote really um, for the for the English dub. So he deserves a lot of credit for all the uh, for all the accolades and all the uh, the uh, all the you know all the all the all the fun that comments that I receive because of Jan. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so you got for housing right now? Uh, if I'm what? So the, is so you got right now for housing? Um, this is a working process. Working process. Um, well, I, you know, I did, we did that what five years ago, so five or six or maybe even more. I, mean, I don't know how long ago that was. So uh, it's been a long time. It's been a long time, yeah. But uh, you know, uh, yeah, you know, still people like you and, and other people like I get, you know, people hitting me up on Facebook every once in a while. Are you the Jan Valentine? It's like. Yes, yes, that's me, the foul-mouthed guy that cusses a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's another anime that has been directed that's kind of underrated. Want to talk about Nia 7? Ah, yes. That was one of the first jobs I did with Taliesin. Um, and, uh, yeah, he just wanted me to do this kind of Keanu Reeves character for that one. So, uh, you know, I was just kind of like this, uh, you know, dumb kind of stoner. Oh, okay. Uh, um, and, uh, you know, I, I don't... It was such a long time ago that I have a hard time remembering um, a lot of what that show happened. I just remember my character a little. It was Genzo, right? From I think so. I think that was the Genzo character. I could be wrong, and I'm sorry to all the fans out there if I'm wrong about that. Uh, but he was uh, he was a fun character, just kind of like affable and kind of like Keanu Reeves, just like all right, you know, I'm Genzo. <laughs> yeah. There's no one that's kind of your favorite. You want to talk about Technolize? Oh, how? Yes, Technolize was fun. That was a very, that was a very dark and kind of brutal cartoon, and and my uh, character Hal um, in that one was, uh, you know, kind of dark and intense, and and uh, yeah, you know, that was kind of fun for sure. Um, that and Helsing were certainly the darker, more intense uh, anime projects that I worked on. Very fun though, right. always very fun. So I got a little funny question to ask you. Okay. So if you could be any character you have played here in real life. Who will you be, and you can mix and match? Oh, interesting. Well, um, that's that's a that's, a, that's an interesting question. Well, you know, I mean, I, I you know, I, Jan is a fun character, but I think in real life he wouldn't be a very a cool guy to be. So, uh, although I had a lot of fun playing him, and and he's certainly one of the more outrageous and fun characters, um, I think he's best left to um, fantasy. I wouldn't want to be him in real life. Uh, he's a pretty bad person. Um, you know, Hal. 
uh, Hal was a good guy from Technical Eyes. I mean, you know, he was Technical Eyes. He was definitely, um, you know, kind of dark and sinister, but uh, not a bad guy. I, I would have to say Genzo was pretty cool. He seemed like he got a lot of girls, um, and uh, and uh, you know, um, was a was a you know a nice guy. So I go with the nice guy who gets the girls. <laughs> that, that work. <laughs> so is there anything else coming out that you can't talk about or anything else you just want to plug in um yeah i did a movie not too long ago um called uh, the creep behind the camera i played the lead role in in the film and it's a you know it's not a cartoon it's a it's a live action film no anime and it's about uh, it's a true story about uh, a con man who made one of the mer worst movies ever made um the movie was called The Creeping Terror, and it came out in the 60s, and um, it was made by a guy who didn't really know what he was doing. He was just conning people out of their money to, uh, so that he could, uh, you know, buy drugs and, 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 and trick women into sleeping with him and whatnot. He was a very bad guy. But uh, you can see that on iTunes or Amazon Prime or I think uh, it's uh, on DirecTV on uh, pay-per-view. Um, and it's called The Creep Behind the Camera, and it's, it was a really, it's a really fun film. I think it's worth uh, checking out. I think every, all of you should go check out uh, some of my live action acting. Um, and it's a fun film, so I think you'd really enjoy it. All right. Yeah, yeah. check it out. I mean, it's dark and intense, but it's still very fun. It's a, it's a fun piece of work. Dark always works for me. Yeah, yeah, we like dark. Yeah, yeah we like dark. All right, and uh, for maybe some of your fans who don't know, you're in a band, so you want to talk about that? Sure, sure. I've been playing music all my life, really. Um... I'm in a band right now that doesn't have a name. We're in the we're in the uh, infant stages. We're just putting it together. Um, so it's it's not easy to talk about right now. We haven't really even been gone, gone public with our musical relationship. Me and my my musical uh, collaborator. Uh, some of the more one of the more notable bands that I was in in the past uh, was a band called Fire in the Asylum. And if you can look up Fire in the Asylum on YouTube, and we have a, a couple of videos out. Uh, we had a couple of CDs out um, that you can see on Reverb Nation. So just go to Reverb Nation or YouTube and look up Fire in the Asylum, and you'll be able to see uh, some of the work I did with that band. And uh, the new band that I'm in, you probably won't start hearing about us uh, until we name ourselves and start putting out music, which will probably won't be until uh, the beginning of next year. But uh, uh, as soon as I have that band out there and, and, and promoting it, um, I'll certainly link it to Fire in the Asylum stuff, so you'll be able to find it on YouTube, whatever the name is. Yeah. yeah. Be sure to check it out. Yes, so, please do. Man. Yeah, yeah, please do. All right, so I have one last question. Okay. Do you have any Facebook, Twitter, or any other social media for the fans to get hold of you? Um, you can find me on Facebook. Um, and uh, it's just Josh Phillips in Los Angeles. Um, you know, if uh, you seem nice and uh, and whatnot, like Christian here, then I'd probably accept you as a friend. Um, and, um, yeah, that's, that's it, really. I don't do Twitter. Um, I haven't looked at my MySpace since, like, 2004. <laughs> I hear it's making a comeback, though. Um, and... Uh, yeah, you know, just just go to YouTube and you can find all kinds of stuff. You can find my acting demo reels, Josh Phillips demo reels there, and you can see uh, some of the live action acting work that I've done. Um, you know, the bands that I've worked with, um, and uh, yeah, Reverb Nation. I've got some stuff up there as well with the bands that I've worked on, and that's pretty much it. I should probably get a website together one of these days and really try to promote myself better, but you know, so uh, whenever that comes around. Yeah, you know, yeah. All right, man. Well, I want to thank you for you know your time for the interview. Okay, thank you, Appreciate Christian. it, man. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, buddy. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for having me out. Yeah, same. And I want to thank the fans too for joining us for another edition of the Ohio Guys. I'm Christian. I'm Josh. Josh Phillips. <laughs> and we'll see you all next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye now. <laughs>